Good morning, everyone. My name is Mighty Stream, and I'm going to do your January the 23rd, just for today in a meditation. Hope you're having a beautiful morning. You can reach me at recoveryofhope21 at gmail.com. Let me repeat that, recoveryofhope21 at gmail.com. Let me know who you are and how you're doing. What's going on with your recovery? I'd love to hear from you. Or you can leave a comment down below and I will respond as soon as I get an opportunity to ask me your questions about your step work and your sponsor will love you. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and get into this meditation. It is entitled Serenity Check. Lack of daily maintenance can show up in many ways. Basic text, page 95. Ever had a perfect stranger remark about how great the weather was only to reply, it stinks. When this happens, we are probably suffering from a lack of daily maintenance in our program. In recovery, life can get pretty hectic. Maybe those added responsibilities at work have got you hopping. Maybe you haven't been to a meeting for a while. Perhaps you've been too busy to meditate or haven't been eating regularly or sleeping well. Whatever the reason, your serenity is slipping. When this happens, it is crucial that we take action. We can't afford to let one bad day complete with a bad attitude slip into two days, four days, or a week. Our recovery depends on our daily maintenance program. No matter what is happening in our lives, we can't afford to neglect the principles that have saved our lives. There are many ways to recover our serenity. We can go to a meeting, phone a sponsor, meet another recovering addict for lunch, or try to carry the message to a newcomer. We can pray. We can take a moment to ask ourselves what simple things we haven't been doing. When our attitudes head downhill, we can avert a crash with simple solutions. Just for today, I will examine the maintenance of my daily program of recovery. Let's take a moment of silence followed by the wee version of the serenity prayer. Moment of silence now. Thank you. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things that we cannot change. The courage to change the things that we can. And the wisdom to know the difference. Just for today, please and thank you. I am yawning, saying the serenity prayer. That's a lot of serenity. Fall asleep while you talk. Wow. What a meditation, serenity check. I like this because if you've been here for any amount of time, whether or not you have stayed clean from the day that you came or had a relapse or two or three or four, the point is, is that you're here today. And if you woke up, you have an opportunity to get up. And if you get up, one of the things that you can add to your to-do list is to do recovery every day. It's a maintenance program. It's just like a vehicle. Every day you jump in your vehicle and you take a drive somewhere, you listen to the engine. You listen to what the car sounds like. And if you're fortunate enough to have one of these newer cars, it will tell you instantly as soon as you turn it over, it will tell you what needs to be checked. It's a foolish person that can watch something come on 
the engine of their vehicle, receive an alert, oil needs to be changed and ignore it. You'll throw a rod eventually doing that. Oh yeah, you got a little leeway time after that light comes on, but if you get in the habit of just riding it out as long as you can without getting that oil change, you, well, you can lose the whole vehicle now, can't you? Our lives is the vehicle. And the oil change or the daily maintenance are things like going to meetings, phoning our sponsor, meeting with other recovering addicts for a fellowship or for lunch, um, doing a 12-step, carrying a message to someone else at a meeting, being willing to share our experience, strength, and hope. Oh, well, we can pray or we can meditate or we can pray and meditate. Uh, you can take a moment of silence for yourself and practice on your breathing. You can follow some simple instructions that your doctor has given you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> our physical health is a part of our daily maintenance. Do you know there's individuals that go all day long without drinking water while their bodies are the majority percentage of their bodies is water. They go all day without drinking water. I have a condition that is called Sjogren's. Only person I know to have had it is Venus Williams, Serena's sister. Sjogren's is an autoimmune disease that actually, or disorder, depends on how progressed it is, uh, that eats away your moisture gland. And when it gets done with your moisture glands, it turns on your other organs and starts drawing moisture away from it. So it's a rare occasion to not see me downing bottle of bottles, bottles after bottles of water. I drink a lot of water. I love my coffee, but I drink way more room temperature water than I do anything else. I make sure that I keep my body moist, right? By making sure that I drink water, I stay hydrated is the word that I want to use. And so that's part of my daily maintenance. Yep, I got blood pressure medication. That's part of my daily maintenance that I often drop the ball on because I am not a pill person. Um, getting me to take a Tylenol is a big deal. Not a pill person. Although I have several conditions that require that I maintain them through some form of medication so that I feel better. Sometimes I take the hit because I don't want to do that. And so I'm talking to myself, mostly, that daily maintenance can show up, the lack of it can show up in so many areas. And a lot of times it's physically, mentally, spiritually, financially. Today, I want you to walk away from this meditation and think about what haven't you been doing? I want you to keep it 100 with yourself. Think about what haven't you been doing and do it. Maybe you're not going to be able to do it all at once. Maybe you have to be like me and set many alarms in your phone to go off where you can hear it and see what the notation is, see what the reminder is so that I can accomplish this daily maintenance regime for myself. Oh, I wish you the best today. I wish you the most beautiful day. You've been in the flow of the stream, so get out there and do something mighty today with your day, your January 23rd. Make it the most beautiful January 23rd that you've ever lived on purpose because I believe in you and I know that you can do it. I will be talking to you tomorrow.